Hey, welcome guys. It's that time of the year again, that time right before the pitchers and catchers show up uh, in spring training. And it's an exciting time for tabletop gaming for sure. So here we are. And it's also time to order Stratomatic. They're taking orders of the 1976 season, of the 2022 season. There was a small glitch on their web. And why play 1976? Well, you got uh, one big pennant race, and that's in the Western Division of the American League. Uh, the A's just missed out on appearing in the postseason for six consecutive seasons, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, and 76 by two and a half games. So they gave the Kansas City Royals a run for their money. In the other three divisions, there was not a pennant race, unfortunately, so um, that's disappointing. But in terms of, uh, you know, batting, it was down to the wire in the American League for the batting championship between um, McRae, Brett, and Rod Carew. McRae, uh, Brett won it with 333, McRae had 332, and, and Carew had 331. So that's exciting. Uh, you had uh, Matlock batted 339 with the Chicago Cubs, Griffey 336. That was fairly close, only three points away. So you had a lot of great stuff happening, uh, pitching-wise. Pitching-wise, you have Mark the Bird Friedrich. He leads the league in ERA. Uh, you have Vital Blue with a 235 ERA. Frank Tanana has a great season, 243. Mike Torres at a 250. You have uh, Palmer, 251. Denny, 252. So you have a lot of really low ERAs in that season. Uh, so that's a, a reason to uh, play 1976 related to ordering um, it seemed that it would only allow you to order if you agreed to pick it up or it was an automatic pickup rather than a delivery to, to your house so I, i'm sure they'll work that glitch out by today i usually wait the first few days before i order because i always find there's some glitch or some problem sometimes the card sets have problems i usually like to wait a week or two um I, and if you've watched my other videos, you know that I use helpers and companions. It's so crucial and critical. One of the reasons that I didn't play as much as I could have when I was younger was because I didn't like to tabulate stats. I didn't like to keep stats. Um, it was really tedious to me and just boring to me. And it took me away from rolling on the tabletop, which is what I really, really, really deeply enjoyed. Um, I, have, I, I believe I have a great visualization of what's going on on the tabletop. And, um, and I really just liked that. I didn't like keeping the stats. And what I ended up doing is, is minimizing the number of stats that I would take. I would start off with getting, you know, runs and doubles and triples and homers and sacrifices and strikeouts and walks and sacrifice flies and hit by pitch and all that. And eventually I'd be like, uh, at bats, hits, home runs, RBIs. That's it. <laughs> so it's a little bit like a Seinfeld episode where I want the stats, I just don't want to keep the stats. You know, so that's basically my issue. I committed to using uh, the helpers and, uh, and as much as possible and allows me, like I talked about in my previous um, videos about is this helper for you, it allows me, it frees me up to play the games, to play multiple seasons, to play multiple game systems and just focus on on the rules and learning those game systems versus always taking time and keeping stats and that would be very very consuming and remember our time is limited clock is ticking here it is let's take a look and you be the judge hey welcome guys tony porter cards and dice tv and i want to show you the stratomatic pc game that i use as a helper there are certain seasons that are not available with Replay Baseball, so I turn to Stratomatic because they have those available. This is the first screen that comes up when I have uh, when I open up the system. So what I need to do then is go through all the seasons and select the league that I'm replaying, and that's the 1990 National League, right? And um, so I'm ready to do that. Then I'm going to go up here to File, and I'm going to choose a new scheduled game. And that's going to give me the games of the day. I'm playing July 26, 1990. I'm using another system to play it. And then, of course, I already highlighted 
the Cincinnati game because I'm replaying the 1990 Cincinnati Reds. I highlighted the Cincinnati game, and now uh, I'm going to play that game. So I'm basically going to click on Play Day, and I'm not sure if the other games are already auto-played or not. I don't think so. No, they were not. So they all auto-play auto except for the manual game that I'm going to input by hand. And uh, this gives me the screen where it shows me the rosters and so on and gives me the information that I need. I'm not really uh, into showing this aspect of it right now because that's not my goal in this video. My goal in this video is to show you uh, the input system. How I'm going to input, I played a few games in my tabletop game, Rolling Dice, and I'm going to input a couple of innings so you can see... Um, how, what what it's like to to use Stratomatic PC game to input the data from your uh, dice rolled games, or uh, what it's like to use it as a helper, as a companion to you rolling your tabletop dice. Okay, I want to show you what it's like to input your game into my helper, which is Stratomatic. Sometimes I use Stratomatic. With Stratomatic, other times I use, you know, Deep Drive or Fall Classic or Appa or uh, Strat Status Pro or other games with this Stratomatic PC game. Keeps tracks all my data, gives me all my reports, it does my standings, my rosters, my schedules, everything I need so I can just roll dice and, and enjoy the, the game itself. So in the top of the second, we're going to input some information. Um, let me tell you what happens in the top of the first. It's a real easy inning. It's just a ground that is short, a ground that is second, and a strikeout. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is hit enter. So it's a ground that's short. Then I'm going to hit grounder. That's two. Then I'm going to have to do tab, tab. That's four. Then I have to do the fielder, six. I'm not even going to do three. Okay, that's five. And then I'm going to have to do enter. That's six. So for a ground out to shortstop, I have to do six keys. All right, a ground out to second base. Again, one, then I do G for grounder, then I do two, that's four altogether, right? Then I have to do the fielder, which is second base, that's five, then I have to do enter, that's six. And now it's Sabo who strikes out. So I can't just put, I can't just hit enter and K, right? No, that doesn't work. What I gotta do is go to S for strikeout. Oh, but that's sacrifice fly. Which happens more often, a strikeout or a sacrifice fly? Think about that. Look how some easy modifications or tweaks could quickly improve this game dramatically, right? Or the input aspect of this game. I mean, it has all the bells and whistles that any tabletop baseball game could want. But why would you have sac It seems like it's done by a person that doesn't understand baseball almost. Why would you have Sacrifice Fly ahead of all the other things that happen more often, right? And so let's let's find it. So it's not it's not a Sacrifice Fly. The second thing, oh, I hit the wrong one. It's not fair. Wait, I got to go tab tab tab. Oh, okay there. So let's do that again. I'm gonna hit S a second time. A single, okay, that happens, you know, quite often. And then finally a strikeout. All right, there you go. So. Finally, I got to it, and what I'm going to hit now is enter. So four four keys to for a strikeout, to record a strikeout. Let's go now to the bottom of the second inning. It's San Francisco. It's going to be Mitchell, Williams, Kennedy, and Thompson. A fly out, a homer, a foul out, and a ground out to short. So let's do that. So it's a fly out. So I'm going to hit enter. And it's blank, of course, so I have to hit an F. Oh, but the first thing that comes is a foul out. And that happens, you know, uh, it happens much less frequently than something like a fly out, which is second. Why well, put that second? Put fly out first, put ground out first. Those are the two things that happen. You know, put K first in those sections. Um, but, you know... Anyway, so, okay, so fly out, right? So then I'm going to hit tab and tab. The fielder is right field, the right fielder. So I hit nine. Fair enough. And then I hit enter. So I don't know how many keys that was, five or six keys. Now Williams hits a home run. 
So we're going to do enter H home run and he scores. That's beautiful. That's the way it should be. Kennedy is going to foul out. Let's see how many this takes us. So enter. So F. Oh, look at that. Foul out comes up. But in the six innings that I played, I only had one foul out. And I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight fly outs. So eight to one, basically, in six innings that I played. So it's a foul out. Then I have to hit tab, tab. Who was it to? It was to the third baseman. Okay. And then I have to hit enter. And finally, it is Robbie Thompson with a grounder to short. I hit enter. Then I got to get the grounder. Then I got it to tab and tab. And it's going to be the shortstop. I'm not even going to do a tab again to write in the third ba uh, first baseman because uh, Stratomatic doesn't tabulate any, any um, defensive uh, other than errors, I believe. I believe they tabulate errors, but it doesn't do put outs or anything like that. So then I have to hit enter. And that was just one inning. Wow. Okay. Um, let's just do the top. Uh, you know what? Let me do the top of the. Th let me just do one more inning for you, the third inning. So it's, uh, it starts off, it's going to be Hatcher, Davis, Braggs, and Morris. Fly out to center, strike out, single, and a ground out to short. So the fly out is going to go enter, fly out. Oh, no, it's foul out, fly out. Okay, got it. Then I'm going to do tab, tab. It's a fly out to center field. Okay, so I put center field eight and then enter. Davis is going to strike out, so I got to hit enter. And then S, 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 and I just hit enter. Bragg is going to single, or Braggs, right? He's going to single, so I have to hit um, enter. And then the first is a sack fly. It shouldn't be, right? It should be a strikeout probably. And it should be separate. Hits should be separate than, than outs. But it's got sacrifice fly, then the second one is single. And then you hit enter. So Braggs is on it first. Then Morris is going to ground out to second base. I'm sorry, to shortstop. So it's going to be enter. Now watch what I have to do here. Um, and if I had more guys on base, then it be becomes a, a major conundrum. So here I got to go grounder. Fair enough. What happens to Morris at bat? Okay, why would I have to put that in? I mean, I understand why, but 90% of the time, you know, uh, he's out at first because there's a whole separate fielder's choice button or, or key. So he should be out at first automatically. And other games do it that way, by the way. All right, so don't say, oh, but this could happen or that could happen or the other could happen. Yeah, all that can happen, but most 90% of the time, the guy is out at first when you have a separate fielder's choice key. So he's out at first, so you put O. Then I have to hit tab. Bragg's on first is going to be uh, moves to second or advances or what do they call it? Oh, man, I forgot what they call it. I do use this all the time. Uh, goes to G, okay. G goes to second, G. And then uh, another tab, the fielder is going to be the shortstop. Wait, uh, yep, the shortstop. So that'll be six. And then I'm not even going to write three. I'm just going to hit tab because I hit enough keys there. So that's, I don't know how many keys that was, but it seems like a ton of keys. Um, maybe five, six keys just to do something very simple. Okay, so Uribe leads off the bottom of the third. This is the last inning I'm doing here. Uribe leads off the bottom of the third. He's going to fly out to left. So I hit enter, F, F, then tab, tab, seven, enter. Okay, then it's uh, Trevor Wilson manages an infield single. And I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to hit S, S twice, and that's done. Okay, so he's on it first. Now it's going to be a double play. Uh, Brett Butler is going to hit a smash to the third baseman, and they're going to go round the horn, Sabo to Oster at second, and on to Morris at first. So Butler is going to hit a smash to third base. So it's going to be enter, grounder. Um, there's not a separate, separate double play 
you know, uh, you have to do grounder, then you have to do tab. It's going to be five. Uh, grounder or butler is out, so O. Okay. Then what happened? Then tab. Then Wilson at first. That's O. He's out as well. Then the fielder. Who is it going to go to? It's going to go to five. Now in a game where you track the putouts, this game doesn't. So it doesn't matter that I fill in the rest. Otherwise, it would be even longer. Otherwise, I'd have to hit tab again. It would be five, four. Then I would have to hit tab, tab again, and it would be three, and then it would have to be enter. All that for an inning-ending, soul-crushing double play. So, uh, again, I'm grateful for having this game because um, it has all the bells and whistles that you could want, all the reports, you know, um, what can I say? It has all the data, has all the players, has the rosters, the schedules, all that important stuff that you need. Um, just that the, I, I wanted to demonstrate what it's like to input the game and all the keys you must hit. And it just takes simple tweaks, moving things around. So instead of the foul out being first, it's the fly out that's first. You know, instead of, um the uh sacrifice fly that's first it's the single that's first when it's a hit or a or a k that's first um but why not just allow me to input k why not just allow me to input walk right just automatically um, and quickly, it doesn't require, you know, uh, you have a big empty screen here. And of course, I could put pictures and different things and, and fill it up with but other uh, uh, tables and charts and information. But why not have a little section here that allows me to input? Like, you see how they have a little section here that allows me to do certain things? I think Intentional Walk is up there. And a bunt is up there as well. There's certain things up there. Well, get one of those, put it here, and allow me to just click K. Allow me to just click W. Allow me to just click seven, eight, nine, fly out. You know, uh, it's it's it wouldn't be that you have to redo the whole game. You're just adding another little menu up here to make this uh, to to update it to modernize the game. So uh, I just wanted to show you, and um, so you can decide for yourself. You know. Um, and that's it. So this is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. Remember to like and subscribe. I hope these informational videos help you understand where we're at. And maybe if we speak up a little bit more to the company, um, maybe they'll go in there and they'll add that feature and they'll bring the game up to, you know, 2023. So the input system is much easier and we can use this as a helper um, and that's about it. Uh, remember to join Universal Baseball Association for lots of information and lots of great discussions uh, about uh, tabletop baseball. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Take care.